Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, and that usually means weekly sell-off. We're going to talk about what that means for the market today and squad battle rewards tonight inside of this Rule Breakers promotion that is going on right now. Back-to-back -back days, Friday and Saturday, we had new SBCs and new content coming out. Saturday was a bit of a lull day, if I'm being completely honest. I don't think the SBC, um, you know... I don't think too many people wanted to do them a long SBC today, in my opinion. I, I did not see a ton of hype for that card today. So it was kind of just kind of like a chill day, right? It was kind of just a kind of just an interesting day. Some prices went up a little bit, and we started to see in the evening, as I said last night, some of the weekend league sell-off start to happen. So I want to talk about that weekend league sell-off, when prices could get too low tonight, and especially with squad battle rewards. As we've seen the past couple weeks, what that rewards time frame can do to the market, and people know there's rewards coming out, so they panic sell for that rewards time period. So let's talk about that today. As we look at the market at the moment, uh, according to Footbin, this is the index 100. You can tell that since about 6 p.m. UK today, it's kind of just trickled down. Now, we had an untradeable pack supply SBC today. We did have some new promo packs in the store, so this could have uh, contributed to that a little bit. Um, but a lot of stuff is just starting to be sold off, and that's how you can tell, right? Abomining is down to 220. Wambasaka is down. Insigne is down. Even like Goretzka, Coman, some of these players that are down a lot. Lewandowski. Um, a lot of these players are weekend league caliber cards that people are actually selling off and getting rid of from their teams because the weekend league is getting closer to ending. Sun is 185. He was over 200K. Gomez, I bought for my team last night at 103,000 coins. He's now 98.5. Martial is down 20K. Bruno's down almost 20K. So a lot of these cards are getting sold off, especially the lower rated, right? We're seeing a Gareth Bale 33,000 coins. Lucas at 52. So the weekend league sell off is starting now. And I honestly think it's going to continue into the day today on Sunday and throughout into the evening. So if you're just finishing up your weekend league, I would honestly recommend maybe cashing out on some of those cards sooner rather than later just to take the coins and some of those. Uh, and maybe even save yourself some coins where you might be able to sell a card and then buy it back on squad battle rewards or even wait until Wednesday before uh, division rivals and weekend league rewards come out uh, so you can possibly just save yourself some coins on the weekly. So again, this is normal, right? We, we, we see this every single weekend and people are asking me this weekend, yo, is this going to be different because of the extended weekend league? Now, in my opinion, I don't think it's going to be too much different than last week. I still think that on Sunday night, you're going to see more panic selling and a rise after because so many people are used to buying cards after squad battle rewards in the first couple hours of that, that you naturally see the market rise and it's just an opportunity to actually sell, right? You can actually sell to the investors that inflate the market and people that buy cards after squad battle rewards. But I think until we get to that point later tonight, you are going to continue to see a lot of these items drop off and honestly take a lot of hit like the bail was 40,000 coins he's now down to like 33 34 and these lower rated cards and some of some of the higher rated ones too even guys that are like 85 86 they're getting packed more and if they're not super meta and super demand they're gonna continue to drop off bail's 32,000 coins and again as we look there's a lot of cards not a lot of them but most of these cards here are not fresh items there's one I guess there's a few that are fresh, but a lot of when I was looking across the market today and seeing cards that were being listed up, um, it's show, most of these cards that are showing at the 59th minute have chemistry styles on them and they have games played, which tells me, like a lot of these Pogba's right here, uh, that a lot of people are finishing their weekend league and they're just selling the cards off because that's what they do every single weekend, right? Pogba with shadows. If you're going to use Pogba, you're probably putting a shadow on him. So, this just, again, signals to me that there is weekly sell-off happening. As I look across the rest of the market, if we look at some like team of the week cards, uh, some of these guys are maintaining their prices a little bit. I bought a Lozano on Friday night at 105, and he's down. I think there was a little bit of over-investing there. Uh, one thing you could get kind of interested in is some possible ones-to-watch investments. Uh, I know there are there's some... Uh, there's more Champions League games, I think, coming this week, if I'm correct in that. Uh, there would be more Champions League games coming later this week. So maybe some of those cards will rise up for those midweek fixtures just in the hype. Uh, but if you're looking at an out-of-packs inform, some of those guys are starting to drop down a little bit as well out of the weekend league from maybe where they were. Uh, let me check a guy like Kyle Walker. Very, very meta inform. I sold this guy yesterday for 470 I believe. How much is he right now? He's probably inflated. 
Uh, Kyle Walker, did he hit 500K today? Wow, Kyle Walker is almost 500,000 coins. This would be a card I would seriously watch the weekend league sell off on because this is the best center back in the game, in my opinion. And there's a lot of demand for this card since he's already up so much already. Definitely watch the sell off on a card like this uh, as an out of packs team of the week card every single week. Basically, the lowest point in the week for these these cards is usually a weekend league sell off because if there's no content coming out that will put a new card in the game that will affect their price, um, they just have no supply. So a lot of that panic selling is where the best time to buy is. So if there's out of packs in forms, I would definitely start to get on those later into the night tonight before squad battle rewards. In my opinion, whether that's an investment or just an upgrade for your team, that's kind of a low fluctuation on the week uh, that you can see for cards like this. Now, gold cards is the really interesting thing. Now, if we go back over here to Footpin again, I'm as I mentioned, a lot of these cards are getting a lot of panic selling. They had a lot of supply this week, right? Rodrigo's 12k. Lucas is dropping. He was he's down 8,000 coins. Uh, Jesus is going to be down a decent amount. Militao is going to be down. Uh, but other players that are still very meta, you know, like a Sterling is pretty good. If we go back up here to the top, guys like Ferlan Mendy, even a Joe Gomez, Rashford is out of packs, Martial, Ben Yedder. Ben Yedder's 72,000 coins, man. The guy's really, really dropping it. Now, I wouldn't call this a market crash, right? I really wouldn't call this a market crash. This is just weekend league sell-off, and these cards are getting supplied more and more on the market, which is just making them drop naturally over time. So... Our gold, gold cards, in my opinion, are still the cards that are going to give you your best return on investment on a weekly investing and short-term flipping ratio because they're cheap, right? Let's say you have like 500,000 coins. You can buy 10 Allens, but you can only buy like two informed Lewandowski's if you were trying to flip him, right? And let's say you make 10K on two or 20K on two informed Lewandowski's and you're making 5,000 coins here. Uh, you know, it's a lot easier with, with smaller cards like this, especially if they're very hyped up. Ferlin Mendy went from like 100 and... Where did he go on Friday? I know the servers were down Friday, and that was kind of, you know, a very interesting thing. But Ferlin Mendy was down at 1... He was in the 120s, right? 116, and is now... He was back up to 130. He's back up to 130 at one point. Same thing with like Joe Gomez. He was down in like 100,000 coins flat, bounced up into the one teens again. Some of these guys are really bounced up from Thursday as well. So one, one way to kind of value and just watch and see how much a card is dropping down this price is if you remember, even go back on one of my old YouTube videos from like Friday, right? Where I looked at a lot of the market rise from the weekend league. You can look at the daily graphs on Footbin, right? And they will show you like, uh, let's get a good example. One, like this Wijnaldum man. Wijnaldum went from 60,000 coins on Wednesday night. He went from like the low 60s all the way up to on Friday morning, 88,000 coins, 88K. Now this guy's back down in the 60s, right? If I would see Wijnaldum below 60K later tonight, I would get very interested because this is still a card that a lot of people are going to use in the weekend league. Yes, he got pop, probably got some pack supply later this week, but that's a very meta card, an example of an item that I would maybe look to pick up tonight or even just to buy some cards that you want for your team. Uh, during like the sell-off before squad battle rewards, that is what I would kind of look into. Now, let's talk about these rule breakers because these guys are, are pretty expensive and I want to actually check some of these prices on the market because I'm getting very interested, right? Now, one thing that we could commonly see with these, with these brand new promo cards, and this is kind of like the first brand new promo cards of the year, so I want to spend a little bit talking about this. These cards fluctuate a lot, especially if, since they're rare for the first two days or so. And there's a lot of demand for them, right? Let's take a look at Harry Kane. He was extinct at 1.2. I still feel like, by the way, I still feel like all these cards are overpriced. But I think these are just the first special cards that we have in FIFA. And people are going bananas for them. I think that's honestly what it is. And maybe some of these cards are actually really cracked in game. I think that's part of it too. But what we often see is that people panic sell, especially the high tier cards that are inside of a new promo that are in packs. They panic sell those cards up until about 6 p.m. UK when more pack supply would come out, when the daily content would come out on a, from a Friday into the Saturday, which is what we saw here with Harry Kane. He was 1.5, got panic sold down to 134, and then got bought back right away up to 1.5. Now, it looks like it only happened on the Xbox uh, or on the PlayStation, sorry. But this is something that we see all the time with these new promo cards. They fluctuate up and down in price where the demand goes up and down. I'm honestly, I don't have the facilities for this right now, but 
If I was somebody looking at Harry Kane, I know we're headed into Sunday. There's probably not as much demand for this card right now because the weekend league is we're, we're nearing the weekend league sell off. But this guy is 1.3 million coins. Uh, one thing that I would not be super duper scared of doing is possibly thinking about an overnight flip. And then look at this man. If, it, if this all, if this is all of the Harry Kane cards at 1.4 mil, if there's one page and they're all at one three. Uh, I would get very, very interested in that. Now, I know that the market's been glitching and there's a lot of issues with this market. So I'm not really confident that th these are all the listings. Actually, I'm actually, I'm more confident now after seeing that 142 pop up. If I was somebody that was pretty ballsy and I wanted to take a risk, some of these promo cards will probably rebound from when you're seeing me record this video at, what is it right now? 5 a.m. UK time or 4 a.m. UK time. Uh, probably rebound into the daytime UK. Now that's, Something that is a bit risky and you have to have some balls to do it, but the most popular promo cards, maybe a guy like Llorente has been bouncing around a bunch. Um, he's been bouncing around from like three, low 300s to like middle 300s. And right now it looks like he is 320,000 coins, 313 right there for Llorente. And earlier today, according to Footbin, let's check this out. Uh, this guy was... He was 330, he went up to 380, went down to 312, and then back to 342 on the PlayStation, and it's now back down to 317. So if I saw this card get really close to 300K, or even in like the, the like 300K flat range, we have 15K of tax here, or a little over that. So I could, I mean, I think it's very possible this guy could rise back up to 340, in the morning time on Sunday, like today, right? So that's one thing with these promo cards is that when the EU goes to sleep, they kind of drop off. The EU wakes up. They want to play more games. They want to grind with some of these cards, try them out. Like one that's very interesting to my, to, for me right now is Douglas Costa. This guy is 449,000 coins, uh, according to Footbin, 472. So he was getting really low, and it looks like some people bought the card up, man, because this guy went to 564. He was still over 500K for most of the day, 522 after no content, not a lot of content, and is now back down in the 400s. If that 449 might have been a snipe, but um, if that was a true price, uh, he probably just got cleared on the market because people probably realized that that was just too cheap for Douglas Costa, 470 at the moment. Now, I would maybe try to see are there any of these that are on bid that look interesting to me because, I mean, this guy has got a really crazy amount of supply. And it's really interesting to look at, but it looks like some of the supply has dried up for some reason. Um, yeah, this is kind of weird. And now the supply thing, like I mentioned it twice already, it's really hard to tell how much supply you have because of how the menus are glitched this year. But um, it's it's really interesting to me, man. It is really interesting to see how these cards fluctuate. And this is something that you can do with a lot of the new promos. Ocampos right now is 140,000 coins. I'm pretty sure this guy... Uh, checking his flipping graph really fast. Ocampos was 180 on both consoles, went down to 130. So he's actually not really down that much. If I saw this in like the 120s, then I'd get interested. Uh, but again, if you want to do this this type of risky flipping with promo cards, this is something that you really want to do from a Friday night into the Saturday. And obviously it depends. Like every single promo is different. Sometimes this does not work. Other times it does fantastic. So this time with these cards being really rare and like nobody is packing these cards, it really seems to me like this could be a possible uh, flipping Saturday even into Sunday, especially with the extended weekend league and nobody could get on on Friday night. So 570 for Mertens, that is really interesting. If he can go back over 600K, there's definitely a profit in this card. Let's analyze this really fast because that's an undercut right there. Uh, yesterday, Mertens went to 685. 670 619 so he went to 585 then back to 619 so if i maybe saw this mertens whew, that's tricky man 570 seems really low for this i 100 think he goes back to 600 so maybe if i can snag this one on bid at like 550 or if, if i can snag one of these on bid at like 550 then i would probably go for one of those mertens for a morning flip because there will be some people waking up in the UK or in the EU today on Sunday. Maybe some of you guys are watching this video and they will be trying to buy some of these cards to try out for the weekend league. Laporte is another one that's bouncing around a lot. I think he's down a decent amount right now. He's under 500K if I do believe. So. I'm a 490. 490 for Laporte. And this guy has high because he's French. He's Man City. He gets the links. And then his graph today, he went up to 550,000 coins where he was almost all day. Content drop. Before that, he, he dropped down to 490 and then went back up to 535. So 
if I saw this maybe at like 10, 15K lower, basically why I want the undercut like a 10, 15K undercut is because that way I'm minimizing my risk of a loss. Uh, if it doesn't go up that much, I'm basically covering most of my tax, right? On a card like this, there's 25,000 coins of tax, 5% uh, EA tax on every sale. So if I would sell this a little over 500K, we maybe would have like 26 or 27,000 coins of tax, right? So right now we're at 90K. If I saw this at like, Honestly, 475 would be a fantastic buy price for me because that means I only have to let this card go back up to 500K or get a little bit above that to be in the profit zone. So that's kind of what I look for with these overnight flips is you look for like the, ta the tax undercuts and that is kind of like a sign of, okay, this guy just got undercut by another 10, 20, 30,000 coins or maybe if it's a Harry Kane card, 50K. If I saw Harry Kane, if I had the coins at 1.25, I would get very, very interested in that really, really quickly because that'd be... Um, what is it on 1.3 million coin card? We have 65,000 coins of tax or something like that. 70, no, yeah, something like 65, 70,000 coins of tax as we get towards 1.4 mil, whereas where I would want to sell the card. And that is definitely a very nice flip. 1.25 to a 1.4 mil is very interesting. So, again, this is a very risky way of trading, but it's also one of the most fun, right? Ones to watches. And overnight flips are very, very, very fun. In my opinion, I love these ones, the new promo cards. It's just because people are hyped and people want to try these cards out. And that is why it's very interesting. So that's something to keep an eye on. Now, if you want to get into some ones to watches as well, these guys are all low. I know I mentioned ones to watches before, but uh, as long as I, I didn't watch the Chelsea game today, but Havertz is 310, 318 right now. Uh, if, this is, if you're somebody who likes to swing trade with ones to watches, that's a beautiful buy. You can chuck that on your transfer list or put it in your team even. That's a really good one right there. Let's check ones to watch team one really quick again. Um, Bale was down some. Suarez is pretty cheap right now. Bale was down a little bit. Tellez is pretty cheap. Uh, that is really low actually for Suarez. Uh, he was like 130, I think, today before the game. Yeah, he was like in the 130K range, went down to 111, which is kind of where he's chilling. So maybe you try to get one of these on bid, but it's Sunday, man. It is Sunday. A lot of cards are dropping. That's what we expect. Uh, maybe a, a small bit of a rise on some of the out of packs cards and mostly just those rule breakers with people waking up on Sunday and wanting to play with some of these new cards. That's kind of what I would, would expect to see on some of these uh, in the morning on Sunday. So that's going to be an interesting watch. See if that does happen uh, on the market. And of course, we've got two player SBCs in a row. I would probably not expect a third. So I'm not really sure what's going to come for content today. I don't think we have any like new packs or SBCs loaded in the code. So I'm not entirely sure what we're going to see today on Sunday for content. Um, maybe some sort of like flashback SBC or something or other, but we've already got a Naki and uh, Malong. So I don't know if I would expect another player SBC today on Sunday. But if you guys did enjoy this video and you think it'll help you make some coins later on this week, uh, we will be live streaming on Twitch during Squad Battle Rewards. So check out the link in the description that is down there. We'll be opening packs, watching this market, and probably making some buys for quick flips into Monday after the rewards rise, which I do expect to see again this week. So if you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.